Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Donna, one, two, three, card maker. Hope you're all having a nice Sunday. I wanted to uh, show you um, a butterfly I did. I was thinking, what I, what could I do with these? I printed these off from the computer, and I was wondering what I could do with these images. So I'm going to take you from this butterfly here to this butterfly. It's an embossed vintage butterfly. And I, I first I cut that image out, whichever one you want, and you have this little image here. And then I took and inked the edges a little bit with some Distress Ink Vintage Photo. <clears throat> Did that to make it look a little aged. I have five butterflies laying here because I've tried five times to do this video and it just didn't work, so... Um, I have a couple stamps I used. <clears throat> this one here is a little vintage lady. I use stays on ink for her, black stays on. Just printed her, whoops, whoops, whoop, whoop, whoop. Printed her right there. And then I had a little vintage stamp that actually says vintage on it. And I put that across there. And I have a little, um, I got these at Big Lots, I thought they were cute. It has writing, but any any stamp will do whatever you like on there. I just, I just did the one corner so I could fill in this white spot right here. See, it's even upside down, but you can't really tell because it's so fine. So there you have your stamped images on there. Then you're going to take um, your Versamark pad and do the front of that with your Versamark. <clears throat> Make sure you get that good because sometimes there's spots you miss. <clears throat> then I use the uh, ultra thick embossing enamel on it and sprinkle that on there real good. Get a good coat on there. Oh, that is so gritty on your fingers, isn't it? And I'm going to heat that with this heating tool. And I'm not going to talk while this is running because I tried it before and you couldn't hear me anyway. So let's just heat this up so we melt all this here first coat. Okay, <clears throat> let that dry just a couple seconds because you're going to give it another coat with the um, enamel. And you're going to emboss it again. See, that's not real smooth, but the, the more I add about three coats to mine, and it makes it really, really smooth looking. There's that one I did. And also, when you're all done with this front, with the two coat, two or three coats, uh, do one coat on the back so it's a little bit more stable for you. And it's really a, a sturdy, it feels like a little rubber butterfly. Uh, I don't, it won't crush on, on a mini album or anything, but there's the um, one with the one coat. And I won't, I won't bother doing two coats because you'll see what that looks like. But I thought that was real cute. Um, turned out good for my butterflies. I'm in a tag swap for July, and I think I'm going to use these on the, on the tags. The theme is uh, anything that flies, so they'll be on my little tags, but they are really cute. And when you're done with that last coat, fold these little wings in a little bit, and it, uh, it'll stay nice for you. This isn't ready yet, so it only has one coat, and you actually need two or three, so 
there it is with the three again and um, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have fun doing this it is a fun technique um, if you want to know where I got those butterflies just message me and I'll, I'll give you the site so thanks so much for watching and have a great Sunday bye bye